hello and good morning. Let's take a look here. If you cause property damage of $30,000 and you're only covered at $25,000, you owe $5,000. And you got to come out, up with it out of pocket. Now look up here. Um, earbuds can only be worn before school at lunch or after school, not in the hallways. And the time that you can wear earbuds or headphones, one must be in and one must be out. So if you wear headphones, you have to keep one ear exposed. So take a look at this chart here, and there's the policy. After school, middle and elementary, no. High school, yes. Before school, middle and elementary, no. High school, yes. During lunch, yes. Passing classes, no for everybody. All right, so that's pretty much it. And this is wireless communication as well. It is so make sure you know the rules all right let's keep moving today you're doing Albert IO week six you're doing worksheet a if you haven't already done it and you're doing one through eight on 229 make sure you have all of this completed and I will check today let's turn our attention now to college algebra look up here what is a function well, a function is a relation. And before I do that, let's just go over the cell phone policy for all classes. So look up here and listen. Earbuds, you can only wear headphones or earbuds before school, at lunch, or after school. Not passing in the hallways. And if you wear your headphones or earbuds, one end, and one out. And here are the rules right here. So take a look at them and make sure you understand because they're going to hold you accountable. All right? Uh, headphones and earbuds after school? Yes. Before school? Yes. During lunch? Yes. Passing in the hallways? No. Wireless communication devices? After school, yes. Before school, yes. Lunchtime, yes. Passing in the hallways, yes. Okay? So, apparently, um, you can use your cell phone passing in the hallway. But you cannot have earbuds or headphones. Make sure you know the difference. Okay? All right, let's get to this. What is a function? A function is a relation, but it's a one-to-one -one correspondence. For each x, there's only one y. That's a function. If your x has two y's, it is not a function. Write that down. Make sure you know it. This one says give three points that are a function. Well, you can just make your x's something different, and that will work. That should be a function. Here, if you duplicate your x's, it could be a problem if these are different. So we want four and five. So one has a four, and one has a five. Not a function. It violates the one-to-one -one correspondence. And if you graph it, it would violate the vertical line test. Over one up four, over one up five, it violates the vertical line test. This one right here, over one up zero, over two up zero, over three up zero, passes the vertical line test. Okay, so answers could vary there. Copy this down right here. What we're going to be talking about here 
is 